Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net. Thank you so much for joining me on my media channel here and spending a few minutes of your time with me today. Now, this is going to be kind of an unboxing, but kind of not. This is going to be a special kind of unboxing video because I have gotten emails from people asking, like, what the Warner Archive collection is. Like, what does manufacture on demand actually mean? And so we're going to kind of take a look at that right now, and I'm going to use a couple examples most notably with a movie that I most recently bought, They Won't Forget. Now this is a very old movie. It is not on Max. I can't even buy it digitally. So I have to go to the uh, Warner Archive Collection where they make on-demand DVDs. And what an on-demand DVD is basically, it's they use cheaper materials. It's not as high quality as a regular manufactured DVD. It's on a DVD recordable disc, which you can buy in stores for very, very cheap, and you can make your own, and they're essentially using the same things. Um, and, you know, it's basically a cheap way so that they can put these things on disc. Now, there are some pros to this, and there are some cons. We'll talk about the cons a little later. Uh, right now, the pro is that a movie like this, which is an excellent movie and has kind of been forgotten over the years, but it is still very, very good. It, they're just not interested in putting it on streaming. It has no mass appeal. I bet you most of you have never even heard of this movie before. And so we Warner Brothers made it available, but hey, it's going to be on a manufacturer on demand disc. So let's see if we can't look a little closer first at what it is. As you can see, there's no security label. Um, it's got a very plain cover. I don't know if you can tell just through the packaging, but we're using like regular paper printout. It's not um, super high quality. Actually, this one's a little bit better than most of them. I do have another um, Warner Archive DVD. This one we won't be unboxing, but this one you can tell a little bit more when you look on the back, like see how it's kind of fuzzy. It's a it's clear that this was printed out on a printer. Um, compare that to, well, this is a Blu-ray, but it, it'll do the same thing as a DVD. This, you know, glossy image right here, how everything is just super clear, super smooth. Uh, and yes, that is signed by the guy who played Jesus Christ. But you see these and you, know, you can just kind of tell that they were done on the cheap. Even the barcode, like, has a little bit of fuzz on it. So, but let's take a look at the, this. Let's un unbox this or open this and see what comes inside. I can, <laughs> spoiler alert, there is really not much to see inside. Now, once you take the packaging off, you can even, you can tell even more so that, you know, the paper for these, it's like, it's not as fancy as it normally would be. And, there it is, it's just a little disc and you're gonna notice on the back, see, it is a DVD-R. You could definitely make this yourself. Now, of course, the pro is that, well, some of these old stuff that have very, very little marketing value does get released, but the big con is this disc right here. This DVD-R, first of all, unlike professionally graded DVDs and Blu-rays, which have much longer lifespan. I know that some people say, oh, it's about 20 years. I've had CDs for more than 30 years. Still good, take care of your stuff. Be careful you store them. Don't like put them in a place where there's like a lot of mist and moist and you know, it should last for much longer than what was originally intended. But this DVD-R will not. This will corrosive much, much faster and because they put this nice, pretty label on it. Well, I say pretty, but it's not um, its not super fancy. I mean, look, it even says DVD download. Load. They, it looks, I think they just took like a basic, one of the basic designs that came with the program and just put a couple little things on, on it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, there's nothing fancy about this whatsoever. Uh, well, uh, because of this label, it might actually stop playing sooner rather than later. Now you might be saying, well, what's the point of buying this? Well, here's a good thing. Since this is a DVD-R, it's very easy to rip this. 
like uh, one of the first things I'm gonna do when I get home, and by the way, you have to do this once you open it, because once you take the packaging off, it exposes the disc to natural elements. Therefore, the corrosion starts, if you will. Uh, these discs are not meant to last too terribly long unless you take very good care of them. Well, one of the first things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it home. I do have a program where I can rip DVDs, but you don't even need that program because it's a DVD-R. You can just go and take the files and copy them onto an external hard drive and back this up as much as you can. You can put it on other DVD-Rs. It's very easy to copy. So as long as you keep have several backups and you make sure to back it up every couple years, you should be able to keep the, this movie in your collection. Now, that definitely doesn't sound like a lot of work. It's more work than the typical person is used to doing, but it is what is necessary sometimes to preserve film history. So that is what a Warner Archive DVD looks like. That's what, well, one of the ways, like maybe this would have been a better one to unload because it's like it, like it clearly looks like this, this image clearly came from like a printer and it's, you know, something that you would make at home like they did not put a lot of effort into this one. Oh, by the way, they have like warnings at the bottom. Like this disc is expected to play back in DVD video play only devices. It may not play back in other DVD devices, including recorder and PC drives. It, it probably will for the record folks. Um, I mean, they're putting them that there to basically try to scare you from copying this you can easily copy this. And by the way, I want to make it abundantly clear that does not mean you should copy it and give it to your friends. That is not the point. But you can definitely copy these to back them up and preserve them. And, you know, it's this is kind of like, ooh, sorry. <laughs> this is the whole uncut thing. The, these manufacturer on demand discs are very controversial because they're not of high quality. And usually, I can almost guarantee you the video quality for these is gonna be subpar. It's not even gonna be cleaned up at all. This is what happens when the movie is so outside of the public zeitgeist um, that basically it's like, look, we're just gonna take what we have, like we're gonna put it on. Some of these might've even been VHS transfers for all I know, and they put them on a disc. So it's not, this is not ideal, obviously for film nerds, but if you are a film nerd and you really want everything to be preserved, this is like probably the best it's gonna be because like who's out there looking for the Phantom Toll Booth? It, it might be a good, it's a good movie, but who's looking for it? This is an excellent movie. I guarantee you, you can pull over the next 50 random people on the street, ask them, hey, what do you think of this movie? They'll have never heard of it. If you find someone who says they've heard of it and they say it's a great movie or something like that, well, I'd be exchanging contact information. That is gonna be a good friend. But this is the best we can do. And it kinda of stinks. I was kinda of hoping the streaming revolution would have at least made things like this more accessible. Instead, it seems to be less accessible because everything's based on an algorithm now. But anyway, so that's what the Warner Archive Collection is. That's what they look like. Uh, that's what you can do with them once you get them, aside from watch them and enjoy them. Uh, I'm curious, how many Warner Archive DVDs have you bought over the years? Which titles did you get? And what do you think about their quality? Were you happy with their purchase? Were you not? I would really love to know. So do me a favor, uh, comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. And by the way, look for my podcast, iCritic Live. You can find it on Spotify, Apple, Google, Deezer, whatever podcasting service choice you have, I can almost guarantee you it will be on there. We'd love to have you there. And as always, keep enjoying your movies. Have a good one.